Hi, everybody. I'm Sam Bennett from TheOrganizedArtistCompany.com, and I'm the author of the new book, Start Right Where You Are, How Little Changes Can Make a Big Difference for Overwhelmed Procrastinators, Frustrated Overachievers, and Recovering Perfectionists. The book is all about how to make the little teeny tiny changes that end up having a big impact in your life so that you can feel happier, more creatively fulfilled, and more in touch with your own actual life. You know, we spend all day running around getting everything done for everybody else. And we start to wonder like, where am I? Where's me in my life? Where's my voice? Where are my dreams? But that day to day stuff can sometimes overwhelm us. So the book is about a million different tiny strategies that you can use to start moving forward on the life that you really want to have. One thing I recommend is that you move self care to the top of the list. And by self-care, I'm talking about like all, I'm not talking about like fancy mud packs at a spa. I'm talking about food. I'm talking about sleep. I'm talking about prayer and meditation, going for walks, talking with the people who you love and who love you, engaging in the projects that you love, that kind of self-care. And I want you to start doing it first. And I know you've got that voice in your head that's like, oh, I can't do that, Sam. That's selfish. It'd be selfish of me. You know, I've got people who count on me. I've got, um, you know, people relying on me. I couldn't take that time to work on my book or to do my stretching in the morning or to take singing classes or do whatever it is that you know would really light you up. Here's the thing. You're thinking about it backwards. You're thinking about it backwards because what's really selfish is when you walk around this planet exhausted, stressed out, underfed, underrested, undercuddled, underslept, and we have to all deal with you like that. You know, you don't have a very good sense of humor, you're not really at your best. That's selfish to make the rest of us deal with you like that. We love you, but I mean really. On the other hand, when you show up fed, rested, nourished, calm, cuddled, slept, engaged, that's the best you. We love that version of you. So take that time. First thing in the morning, right at their lunch hour, right at the end of the day, whenever works for you, and make sure that you are doing the things that light you up from the inside. And if you're having trouble thinking about what some of those things are, try this one really simple strategy. Because sometimes asking the question like, what do I want can be a little overwhelming. It is for me anyway. But if I ask the question, how can I make this moment more me? How can I make this moment more me? How can I make this email feel more like me? How can I make this outfit more me, this meal more me, this conversation more me? And it just opens the door for you to engage just a little bit more in the things that you're doing each day so that your life feels a little richer and we're getting a little more of the authentic version of you and the that's energizing that's exciting so fed rested prayed meditated creatively fulfilled and you that's what we want one of the words i hear most often from people is overwhelmed people feel overwhelmed they feel overwhelmed by technology they feel overwhelmed by choices they feel overwhelmed by responsibility they feel overwhelmed by their finances they feel overwhelmed by everything and they're feeling buried by overwhelm. It's really hard to feel joy when you feel overwhelmed. So I have a very simple strategy that's kind of radical that's gonna help you with this. You ready? Get your cell phone out of the bedroom. Get your cell phone out of the bedroom. Stop leaving it on your nightstand table. I know some people are like, I use it for an alarm clock. No, stop it. Get an alarm clock. And here's why. That moment when you first wake up is so important for your creativity, for your sense of self, for your soul. That moment when you first open your eyes and you're not anybody, you're not anybody's mother, you're not anybody's boss, you're not anybody's partner, you're just you, that you that's been you this whole time, that's an important moment for you. Plug into that feeling and enjoy the moment of waking up, of stretching, of cuddling, of dozing, of snuggling. Enjoy that. 
something like 42, 42, I think, percent of people reach for their cell phone within the first minute or two of waking up. That's disastrous. That's instant overwhelm. The minute you're looking at your phone, you've got email and phone calls and messages and social media and Facebook and Instagram, and it's all in your face immediately. Of course you feel overwhelmed. There is nothing out there that cannot wait for 5, 10, 15 minutes while you give yourself the gift of waking up. So get your cell phone out of the bedroom and let me know how it goes. Thanks, everybody.